Hello again. Today we're going to be continuing our discussion of Voronoi diagrams, and we're going to be talking about just uh, ways to interpret the diagram once it's been constructed. And one of those ways is called the nearest neighbor interpolation process. So let's get started. Let's say that we have some given data from sites on an existing Voronoi diagram. Okay. If you're asked for new data at a new site that is near one of these sites, then here's what you do. If the new site is within one cell, then you're going to use the data from that cell's site. If the new site is on an edge, then you're going to use the average from the two adjacent sites that are touching that edge. And if the new site is on a vertex, you're going to use the average from all the sites that are adjacent to that vertex. Okay, this looks better with an example. So let's say we have this Voronoi diagram right here. And we have the temperature from these three towns, town A, town B, and town C. So the temperature at town A is 78 degrees, town B, 84 degrees, and town C, 75 degrees. So we're just going to look at other points other than A, B, and C in this diagram. And we're going to just figure out what the temperature might be um, at that point. So at 1,4, you'll notice that the point 1,4 is completely within cell C. So we're just going to approximate that the temperature at that point is going to be the same as site C because they are in the same cell. So that temperature is going to be 75, just like it is at site C. Um, if I look at the point 3 and negative 1, that is not completely within one cell. It is on an edge between uh, cells A and B. So what I do is I just find the average of the temperatures between those two sites and I use that as my temperature. So that is going to be a temperature of 81. And finally, if I look at the vertex, that vertex is touching all three cells. So in order to find the temperature at that point, I'm just going to take the average of the temperatures of those three sites and that is going to be 79. So you just add them all together, divide by three, and you get a temperature of 79. So it's really not a difficult process, but you just need to know where that point is in relation to the cells and the edges and the vertices of the diagram. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you tomorrow.